Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a great show for you tonight. Our next guest from the great city of Buffalo, Mr. Paul Heyerdahl. Hey, how are you doing, hey, good. Nice good to, to see you, Paul. Thanks for coming you. in. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the first episode of whatever this is. Yeah, right on. <laughs> we have some great questions for you today, Paul. Sure. Uh, obviously, the E-verse 8, huge hit. Lots of people have already taken possessions of these uh, great powered uh, speakers. Battery powered, I should say. Correct. Uh, and uh, so as they're beginning to use them, they've got some questions. Sure. Uh, so, Fire away. All right. Question number one. And these are from you, viewers. Thank you for these awesome submissions. What cable can I use to power my microphone when using the E-verse 8? Great, great question. So when you look at the back side of the E-verse 8 <clears throat> itself, there's a little uh, weatherized rain cover that comes on the back. So when you take that off, if you look in the lower right hand corner, there's a little 12 volt connection. All right. And if you're going to power a wireless mic receiver um, from the E-verse 8 itself, you're going to need a special cable like Ben was saying. And normally what you're going to see is if you come off the back of a wireless mic receiver, you're going to have this little barrel connection and it's going to go down to a, uh, a plug-in, right, for the wall. Yep. Well, this one here, we're going to come off of the wireless mic receiver and go into that same barrel connection. And when you purchase the tray, uh, which we'll do, I'll show you guys a little bit later video, uh, but it comes with this special three-foot cable, all right, and it's a barrel-to-barrel -barrel connection for a 12-volt connection. So it's as easy as plugging it in here and then plugging it right into the top of your, your wireless mic receiver at the same time. Now this is not a, uh, a proprietary EV only uh, connection. Uh, it's something that uh, is used by many different mic manufacturers. Um, so again, it's just not, not only for EV. Of course we want you guys to use it with EV mic and yeah, why our, wouldn't you? our E3 wireless. But, uh, but frustratingly enough, and I don't know if you knew this, Paul, some mic manufacturers don't even use the same size barrels on all of their models. Oh, really? So uh, we're not going to name names here, but within one particular brand, uh, depending on the mic you get from this mic brand, not EV, it could be three different connections. So oh, wow. your barrel would only fit potentially one out of the three in that case, and that's not your fault. They're yeah. the ones with three barrels. But if you buy your Everse 8 from us, we will make you a cable to work with the mic system you have if, for whatever reason, you don't have an EV mic. But should have an EV mic. Right on. <laughs> All right. Question number two. <laughs> What does battery life look like on the Everse 8? Great question. So we have tested these speakers. We uh, our, our main headquarters is in Burnsville, Minnesota. Uh, and we've tested these speakers at full volume and then at 90, 95 dB, which is where a lot of our competitors uh, will sit as far as their max volume. So at 95 dB, you're going to get 12 hours of battery life. Uh, and when I say 95 dB, I mean that is constant signal always coming out of the speaker, 12 hours. Uh, 95 dB is quite loud for an 8-inch battery-powered speaker. That's pretty impressive. At yeah. full volume, right, so ours goes to 121 dB. At 121 dB, you're going to get 6 hours of battery life out of it, all right? Okay. To go even further on top of that, if you have a wireless mic receiver plugged into that 12-volt connection on the back, mm -hmm. you're at 121 dB, constant signal, you're going to get 4 hours of battery life out of it. And you also have a USB power port there as well. Correct. So, so yeah, obviously, the more load you put on the speaker, the battery life's going to change. Maximum of 12 down to maybe as little as 4 if you're really jamming and you've got a, some other things running. Yep, around. absolutely. And the good thing is, too, so the batteries you can buy as an accessory uh, mm -hmm. if you'd like to. They do need to be charged internally in the speaker themselves. And how you charge them is through the IEC cable. So you plug them in like you would any normal... Um, uh, powered speaker. Uh, however, the, the battery itself from completely dead to fully charged takes about four hours. Outstanding. Yeah. And really no reason that uh, you couldn't charge a couple batteries the night before, pull one out, put the other one in. Correct. Uh, I, I haven't actually looked at these questions yet, so I don't know that. We might get ahead of ourselves here. So. <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> hey, this is live TV that's being recorded and played back later. <laughs> but whatever, so, all right. <laughs> Question number three. How can I pair my Everse 8s via Bluetooth or XLR? Absolutely. So, uh, good thing to know about uh, this speaker itself is the fact that there's a couple different Bluetooth chipsets built in. Uh, number one is a streaming chipset, right? So you want to stream audio directly to that. You can do that through channels three and four. It's as simple as pressing and holding a button here and pairing it like you would pair any other Bluetooth device uh, for audio uh, in your, in your uh, iOS or Android device, right? Uh, but then there's also a Bluetooth control chip built in as well. Okay, yep. so the Bluetooth control chip allows me to adjust any of the settings that I have in the mixer that's built into the back uh, of the Everse 8 itself. All right, so there's Bluetooth streaming and there's Bluetooth control. And then there's also one more Bluetooth chipset built in called True Wireless Stereo. Mm, that's All right, that's a cool thing. Yeah. So True Wireless Stereo allows me to connect to one speaker and then enable it so I can wirelessly share either the left or the right channel with another speaker. Okay. 
Uh, and I, what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll do a quick video with you guys in a little bit. Yeah, we'll just to show video. you, because the, w one of the ways that I actually control that is through our EV Quick Smart app. Again, I'm using an iPhone, but it's iOS or Android, and right now I can pair um, any of my speakers together that have a Bluetooth control chip built in. I can pair them in here. And then if I want to uh, activate that true wireless stereo chip, I can do that within the, within the app itself. And, and one follow-up question for this one is uh, the linking is only for Bluetooth audio, though. If I have a microphone plugged into this one, it's not going to be transmitted to the next speaker via Bluetooth. Correct, correct. So there we would link that via XLR with your mix out. Correct. Okay. And the great part is, too, is the mix out itself you can assign to being the left or the right channel, or you can just have it be a mono as well, right? Um, so anything that's coming out the front, if it's a mono signal, will come out the back mono as well, too. Right on. Yeah. Good question. Yeah, these great questions, viewers. Thank you so much for these great questions, and thank you again, Paul, for being here. Absolutely. So you're my first and probably only guest on this imaginary talk show. So, <laughs> you know. uh, does it cause any, uh, any wear or damage to the battery if I have it plugged in all the time? No, it does not. So, uh, and it's not going to improve the battery life. Right. Um, so talking with our engineers and our, uh, our product managers on this one, the guy who, who headed up this division, uh, this speaker, I should say, and he actually heads up our entire portable power division, uh, his name is Andrew Cho. Andrew Cho is fantastic. He's a very oh, yeah, brilliant guy. Uh, and Andrew actually came from, so again, Electrovoice is owned by Bosch, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Andrew came from a different section of Bosch, which is power tools. Mm -hmm. And he brought that technology of power tools and put it into uh, into this battery-powered speaker, which I think is is genius. It's fantastic. Yeah, it's super and it's awesome. A, you got battery divisions you can lean on to help you design things. Yeah. Exactly. And it's one of those to where, again, if you're going to use a power drill or maybe a reciprocating saw or any of that stuff and have those batteries plugged in all the time, it's not going to harm them, but it's not going to obviously make them any better either. It's just going to fully yeah, charge them. Smart chargers, yeah. So, by right. the way, I have another video on uh, maintaining battery life things for off-season when products aren't in use, uh, feel free to contact us and we'll send you that link. Uh, question number five, can I Bluetooth link the Everse 8 with an Evolve 50M? The, the answer to that one is no, uh, specifically because uh, the Evolve 50M, Evolve 30M, and even the irregular Evolve 50 do not have a true wireless stereo chip built in. And that's where you're going to need to be able to link the two together, uh, is using that true wireless stereo chip. However, you can still use the XLR mm -hmm. to the mix out and go to the Evolve 50M. Um, in either direction, 30M. too. Correct. You can come out of the mix out of the Evolve 50 or the 50M uh, if this was a delay speaker or something, for example. Correct. Or a monitor. Uh, you know, the, there's the great monitor feature on the Evolve 50M. Check our YouTube channel, which you're obviously watching right now. Uh, there's a great <laughs> video uh, with uh, our showroom manager and former touring guitar player, Kirk. Uh, and we demonstrate the mixing features on the Evolve 50M. So, right on. Yeah, check that out. Kirk is, Kirk is wild. Still, watch, as they say, uh, you know, as the kids say, right? Watch till the end. Uh, there's, <laughs> there, he's, there's some cool outtakes for Kirk at the end of that video. Uh, all right. Uh, so question number six. Sure. How can I use three mic systems with two Everse 8s? Good question. So uh, I'm assuming you're talking about wireless mic systems, right? Well, I think the answer probably would be either because there's only two mic preamps so I guess either way yeah gotcha so the way I would uh, look at this is the fact that you can let's just say it's with three wireless mic receivers okay mm -hmm. um, you can power one of them so you're gonna need uh, on one speaker yep um, but you're gonna need to you know have a wall pop uh, plug in for the the second one uh, or an on external the, battery pack like or an external a battery jackery pack. or duracell or something yeah correct yep. correct okay. and then again if you have if you have two everse speakers you can plug another wireless mic receiver into that one right but again only powering one mic, mic receiver per speaker uh, per time and if they're wired mics uh, it's even simpler i would imagine uh, correct me if i'm wrong but i am an audio engineer uh, not just a not just a very handsome talk show host uh, that uh, we could take two mics into these preamps mix out to the next evol evers excuse me and we would have two more preamps to use there so we could take our uh mix out into an input and then the mic uh into the other preamp on that one correct absolutely and one of the common questions i get <laughs> saved to, my career right there <laughs> <laughs> common questions i get as well is you know on channel one we do have uh switchable 48 volts of phantom power so if you're using a wired condenser microphone mm -hmm. uh, you can power it directly from the speaker on channel one or an active direct box which is a very Correct. cool feature particularly a lot of these i imagine are going to be used at ceremonies and things like that where maybe i would i would want uh, some of those types of features a good condenser or uh or maybe a lectern mic or something yeah great stuff yeah great stuff uh, we're trucking right along. Awesome. Question number seven. <laughs> 
When using a mic system on one speaker and connecting to another speaker with Bluetooth, we already answered this one. We did. Does the additional speaker receive the mic signal? So it does not. It we, does we, not. We, we did already answer this, but though there's a thing that I want to point out with this, this speaker, which is great, is that, again, there is a mixer built into this, okay? There is. And if I want to daisy chain two of these together with the mix out, right? So I have a... a a microphone plugged in here, but I want to hear it out of two speakers. I can daisy chain, so I can come out of the mix out and go into the input of a second of, the, a second of Everse, right? Mm -hmm. Now when I do that, and I enable within the speaker itself the mix out to be either the left channel or the right channel, in the app itself or in the speaker itself, I then get a panner knob. So oh, if I that's nice. if I wanted to pan, you know, plug the microphone in here, but pan it completely left, I can do that, right? Sure. Uh, or keep it mono, so it's going to come out of both both speakers at the same time, which is a good, a fun feature to that's have. That's yeah, really cool feature for a small speaker like this. And obviously, the great thing about it for uh, remote ceremonies and and uh, functions is that it doesn't need power. Uh, but running an XLR cable really isn't the end of the world. You Correct. Know? Uh, coming from a guy who runs thousands of feet of it every week, so, you know? <laughs> yeah, buddy. Uh, all right, so question number eight. Uh, not a question, just mention the mic tray because we're doing a video on that today as well. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, so uh, I'm, I'm supposed to mention to you that there is a tray that goes on top of this, and you should look for that video on our NLFX YouTube channel. And thank you so much for the great questions. Thank you so much for the orders with the Eberse 8. Uh, please feel free to send us more of your questions and more of those orders. Uh, and of course, great big thanks for uh, you being here, Paul. Always oh, a absolutely. pleasure. Love having you up here uh, in the uh, the great frozen north. Uh, <laughs> we should test the battery life on a 40 below day. Uh, maybe that's a future video. And if you want to see that and other great videos, be sure to like, subscribe, get notifications, and tell all your friends about this YouTube channel. And thank you so much for watching.